Okay, so let's get started. Prior to the video, I went ahead and stitched together two pieces of the Coco Daisy absolutely adorable um, printed card stocks. And I've also already removed the existing cover from my standard size Daisy Dory. And here I've used it to measure where I want to make my score mark on my prepared papers. I was originally going to cut off that extra bit and then thought I can make a pocket out of that. So instead I scored it using the front part of the cover as my measuring guide. I don't really measure anything here, just go with the flow. And then I'm ready to attach my pages to my new cover. And I grab um, some binder clips to keep it all in place while I'm poking the holes. And I use um, a paper piercer for this. And I grab a hardcover book to pierce through the center of my traveler's notebook insert. I also used the existing staple holes as my guide for the outermost, uh, the outer two holes. And then I have threaded a needle with some red and white baker's twine and am using a pamphlet stitch to bind this together. There's plenty of um, additional videos on YouTube if you need um, more help on how to do that. It's super simple though. And at the end, you just want to make sure that each of those ends is on either side of your thread that's going across your book. And then when I tie my knots, I make sure to wrap it twice before I pull it tight each time. And that puts a nice strong knot that's not going to come out. All right, so back to this pocket then. Here I am cutting some hinges, or what will become hinges, from some strips of scrap cardstock. And you can see I measured it against the pocket and folded them in half and trimmed off a corner on each one. And that'll give that pocket some extra room to store lots of extra goodies. All right, so now that that pocket is done, I'm going back to the front of my cover and I am doing a dry brushing technique with some white paint, just plain cheap white acrylic paint and a stiff bristle bristle brush. Oh, that's hard to say. And I know that I want uh, my additional decoration with my stickers to be in that lower right hand corner. So I'm going to be applying more paint in that area so that those stickers that I put on really stand out from the background. So you can see that I'm putting some extra white in this area. It doesn't really you know, block out the whole image. You can obviously still see the image, but it just gives a sufficient ground to put those stickers on. And since it was just a light layer of paint, it really didn't need a whole lot of time to dry. And here I'm showing you the stickers that came with the various kits from Coco Daisy. Some came with my standard um, Daisy Dory kit, planner kit and others came with add-on kits and the um, various memory keeping kits. I ordered quite a few different things from the December collection because uh, I really, really liked it. So I've picked out uh, a couple different things, a saying, uh, some 
the December sticker from that there that sheet right there and some die cuts and I'm layering this I'm kind of trying to do it on my hand if I had had my um, no stick sheet available I would have done it on that uh, the reason I don't just put it directly onto the front of my cover is these stickers are very very sticky and once you put them down they are down there for the long haul so I don't just put it directly onto uh, the front of my cover I want to make sure they look exactly the way I want them to before I go ahead and put them down so I've got those all set and and positioning it and just pressing it down and then I have these little die cuts that I'm auditioning in the various spaces to see what I like and where I want to put certain things. I really like those tiny little cardinals. Kind of obsessing this season with cardinals. Everywhere I go, I'm looking for redbirds. And now that I know have everything in position the way I like it, I can go ahead and start gluing all those pieces down. And I do like the liquid adhesive for this kind of project on the front cover of this, that way I know they are going to stay in place for sure. Alright, I'm going back in now with a little bit of white paint just all around the edges of the pieces that I've added. So around the birds, the flowers, the greenery, and the word stickers, just so that they really pop from that background. So I don't necessarily use a lot of paint on the brush, just dab it into the lid, get a little bit onto the brush, and dab, dab, dab all around. And in some places, if I get a little too much, I just kind of smooth it out with my finger even. So it's really kind of a simple process to get that cover all completed. And it wouldn't be a cover that I created without adding some stickles. I love a little bit of sparkle and glitter and bling. cover is just about done. All right, now we can move on to the extras that I put on the inside. I'm using this Simon card as a pocket, so I will put the glue on two edges and attach that to the corner. I do like to have some pockets in the front and back of my books so that I can tuck away the stickers to use during the month or other little things that I might collect during the month that I want to use or some photos or whatever that type of thing and I'm just adding a couple of cute little stickers here on that back pocket I think I put it down it says it's called adulting, and then the second one is, I can handle this, but first, coffee. It doesn't really say coffee, but it's got the coffee cup there. And then on the back, I really liked uh, the arrow stickers matched the arrow pattern on the paper, so I thought that was kind of fun. So I put those down right over a couple of the arrows and then the little bird that says something like 
Sometimes I plan, but I'm usually winging it. And then the Hello 2018. And then I'm filling up my pockets. And it is ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.